Hey guys, welcome back. This is Freddie with webdesigntipsandtricks.com. Today, I want to talk to you about starting your own web design business. Now, you may be considering that because maybe you work in websites now, but you want to branch off on your own. Or maybe you've been tinkering with websites and you want to make some extra money on the side. Maybe somebody said, hey, you're, you do good at web design. Why don't you start off on your own? And you know what? I want to congratulate you because that shows that you have an entrepreneurial spirit. We know right now that the economy is a little shaky, so hey, making some extra money on the side, that's not a bad idea. But to be truthful, you just have to go out there. You have to be able to market yourself. And there's several concerns that you want to address right up front. Uh, one thing is, do you want to market yourself as an individual? Just using your name as your company name. Or do you want to go and, and register a company name so that maybe you look a little bit more professional? If you want to do that, I did that myself. Uh, I went down and I registered the name Kango Media Web Design. I've been doing this for quite some time now. You can visit my website at kangomedia.com. But if you're, if you're in the United States, you can go down to your local county courthouse and just register your name. Then you want to think about how are you going to market? You know, are you going to start right away with radio ads, with uh, television ads? You know, spending big money to market yourself. Now, I wouldn't recommend that. See, your business has to make you money before you can really go into that kind of stuff. If you're going to be starting small, of course. In my case, I went, I registered my name, Kango Media. Okay? I came home, I, I tried to brainstorm some ideas as far as a logo. I wanted a professional look. So I just went to my computer and, and I just went you know, over here to Adobe Illustrator. And I used Adobe Illustrator to go ahead and, and create my logo for, for myself. You can do that too. You can go to Illustrator, you can go to Photoshop, you can email me at uh, freddie at kangomedia.com and I can maybe even help you out with that. I, I'm, I'm always willing to help out, maybe even bounce off some ideas. But after you create your logo, of course you've already got your, your colors, your company name. Think of a mission statement. Something that's going to set you apart from your competition. Something that you're going to be able to uh, give a value to your customers so that they know that you really mean business and that it's for their benefit to do business with you. Uh, also, get some marketing materials. I went ahead, as I said, I, I created my logo, but now I created some business cards. I, as you can see here, I got the front and back. It's double-sided. They're, they're colored, they're UV-coated. I mean, these are beautiful business cards. Um, I designed it myself. I got them printed at gotprint.net. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, again, I'll, I'll pull this up here. First of all, I want to show you my, my business here, kangomedia.com. And again, it's very important for you to have a website as well, because if that's what you're going to be marketing to your customer time and the importance of a website, well, you have to have one too. So this is mine, kangomedia.com. But now go to gotprint.net, and you'll see there that you can... You can order anything. I mean, business cards, booklets, uh, brochures, calendars. I just went with business cards right away. You know, they're very inexpensive. You go to pricing. If you can upload your own digital files, it's a lot cheaper. But you get a thousand of, of these cards for like 20 bucks or 20, 25 bucks with shipping. Okay, anywhere in the United States. But I, I highly recommend that. Once you have your business cards, then you have to get your feet wet. You just have to dive into it. Go to your local marketplace, go to the mall, go to local businesses, uh, go to local plazas. Introduce yourself. Just walk in. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Just walk into the business owner. Say, hi, my name is so-and-so. I wanted to leave you my business card. I do websites. Uh, let me know if I can ever be of service to you. And usually they'll ask right away, how much do you charge? What's involved in this? How long does it take? And you can answer them for, for them. And, and you look very knowledgeable. So you never know. You might walk into a business, walk out with a you know $3,000 contract. Again, some nice pocket money. So you just have to get out there and do it. The more businesses you hit up, the more business you're going to get. That's the, nit, the nitty gritty of it. You can go ahead and do flyers and all that kind of stuff. But the best way, face to face, it's, it's something different. And, and your business owners will like that and they'll, they'll contract you. So again, that, that's my tip for today. Just get out there, order yourself some business cards, email me if you, have any, if you have any questions, leave a comment on my blog and let me know what you think about this, okay? So 
Best of luck to you. I hope business goes well. And I'll see you next time. Take care.